for coming to my channel. I am Jackie Horton, your wellness and health specialist. I am here to promote wellness and good health. And the real you is breathing down your neck, begging you to manifest. It's got to be a lifestyle change. When you shift your paradigm, when you shift your thinking, only then what you see in your head, you will hold in your hand. channel. I am Jackie Horton, your virtual wellness and health specialist. I'm here to promote wellness and good health, amplify lifestyle behaviors to promote good health, as well as to uplift those things that we are already doing in our lives. So today is Thursday and you know Thursday I like to do some kind of coaching principle that's you know that will be helpful to um, us and for this series I am still doing love and relationships. And let me tell you, I have tried to create some kind of workflow, some kind of interactive process to do this without just being me. However, you know, different schedules and, and different things sort of came about that prevented us from not being able to do the original idea. And I actually had like several original ideas. So it's all cool. We'll keep going. So with love and relationship, um, coaching. I have a tendency to have a lot of fun with this because sometimes I've had two people, a couple, um, in the sessions and, um, and it's been really fun to kind of do role plays, to kind of do like, um, you know, games, like how much do I, how well do I know you game, um, games and, you know, just different things like that. So, so just to give you an idea of how I go about approaching and in coaching in this area is that um, I believe it's one of the more um, sensitive areas. And so I'm a little bit more cautious and a little bit more curious to kind of get into those very sensitive areas with people when I'm coaching them. So I like to start off with welcoming you. And then I like to ask you, what is keeping you from being and giving love and having a relationship? You guessed it, you. <laughs> and that is not a dig or a check at all on you and, and, and sort of implying something about you not being enough. But I do want to talk about how you are keeping you from having what you desire in your heart, which is to have love, to give it and to receive it, because both are needed in order to grow fully. As well as, you know, having a, a sound, intimate, strong relationship, it's definitely nice to have someone, someone who you match with, you mirror with, you, you know, you share with, um, you grow with and so forth. So let's figure out through this little abbreviated context, what's keeping you from being in love. All right. So I like to target a sp specific areas when, to guide the process in getting to what's holding you up in this pro in, in this area of your life. And here are the, the few areas that I look into and I explore and I talk with you about. And I also do a lot of other things around, you know, having you watch videos, having you, you know, practice role playing and so forth. So the areas that I target more specifically to get at how you are keeping you from love and relationships are fear. Yeah, we all have it, right? Communication patterns. To believe it or not, we all have our own communication patterns. Perspective. Ooh, what you think about something. And the last one, you know, is a kind of like a little, um, a, you know, a you know a, a a word that we use for everything. But that, but I do try to look into understanding what is happening to your energy when you are in love, being love, giving love, and in a relationship. Because the energy does, the, the energy does give me an indication where and how things are going and moving in your relationship. So, Doctor Carl 
Albrecht talked about fear as being useful. He stated that it has a function. We can learn from our fears. We learn the intention of our fear. We also learn what is the fear protecting us from and how will we grow beyond that fear. So he celebrated it with stating fear is our ally. Yeah, but I agree with that. I do agree with that. Uh, and Jack Canfield said, everything you want is on the other side of fear. And I agree with that too. And I think we've all been in places where once we got on the other side of fear, we were able to move more smoothly, more confidently, you know, more naturally, more fulfilling, more ready, more boldly, and so on and so on. So communication patterns. So what I like to do here is like, you know, try to figure out where it stemmed from. Who was your original model for communication patterns? How you handle, you know, difficult conversation? How do you also show softness and gentleness and love? Because we all have some kind of pattern that we duplicate or replicate, you know, from our history. Now, over time, you know, as we mature and as we have more experiences, we do start to create some different perspectives. So at one point, when we were young children, we may have a different perspective about mommy and daddy and, and you know, about boys liking girls and girls liking boys and all that. But then as we got older, we probably have a different perspective on like what that looks like, that interaction and that exchange and so forth. And I like to look into that. I like to, I'm very curious about that. So I can pull that out in these coaching moments to kind of really see if that's what you were meaning to say, if that's your perspective because something happened to you or happened to someone you love. And if this perspective has some ability to be flexible to, to change. And once I get that, once I dig a little bit deeper in the history, this does help me to kind of kind of hear more about these, you know, these um, positive and good experiences and feelings as it relate to love and, and being in a relationship. And it also leads to, you know, maybe a conversation about those negative and bad, you know, experiences and feelings that you've had as it relates to relating and being in a relationship with somebody. So... Going back to that piece when I talked about energy. So when we're talking about the experiences when they're good, positive, what you desire, I notice the energy allows you to draw near the person. You wanna share more. You, want, you care about the small details of the person's life. And you're also become protective of the person, of the relationship you know, of, you know, things that matter to the person. Those are like evidence of good, positive, you know, in the right way, um, going in the right way in regards to how you feel about the person. So we'll just say there's some good energy. Now on the other hand, communication patterns can really lead to, you know, tension. And when there's tension, you know, there's distance, there's discord, there's avoidance. Um, there's some propagation where you just be feeling provoked. Um, there's pain. It can be painful. And the self-protection wall goes way up. And once that self-protection wall goes way up, then you start to hear some very, very clear perspectives that keeps you from, you from having what you desire, which is to be loved, to give love, and to have a healthy relationship. So the energy flows in those type of way, you know. So I'm, I am experiencing your energy as it relates to the behavior that you're displaying. And that's why I look in here and sense your energy. So as we said earlier, uh, fear is important to access, to access in both positive and negative experiences. It has a function. It is useful. We learn from our fears and that when we're learning, we're learning the intention of our fears. We're learning to, you know, what we're protecting ourselves from. And we also learn to learn how to um, get into a, get into a mindset that because we're fear, because we have fear, doesn't mean that we can't grow. In fact, 
fear is the cause of us to grow. And when we grow, we expand and we become flexible. And when we become flexible, we become free. And when we become free, we're able to be love, give love, and start to one day having a good, healthy, positive, enduring relationship. So try some coaching if you're kind of stuck. Bring you and your partner in if you're kind of stuck because there's always a plan in place to help you get out of that. It's just a matter if it's just a matter if you desire to use that as a resource to do such. So go and find love and thank you for watching today and I will talk with you tomorrow for the village circle. Bye.